Um, guys, I was thinking, I don't think I should be a part of this video today. It's about bones and, well... Why not? Well, because I'm just a sock with a furry head and a really annoying voice. I have no bones. <laughs> but that doesn't mean they can't learn about bones. That's right. Let's learn about bones. Everybody has bones, but did you know that a baby's body has about 300 bones at birth? And these finally grow together to make the 206 bones that adults have. All of these bones make up your skeleton, which is very tough and very light. And some of a baby's bones are made up of a special material called cartilage and while other bones in a baby have only some cartilage. Cartilage is soft and flexible, kind of like me. And as your body continues to grow, the cartilage grows and is gradually replaced by bones with help from calcium in your body. Human bones grow until you're about 25 years old and our skeleton's bone mass hits the greatest density, or the strongest, around the age of 30. After this happens, the bones are as big as they will ever be. And bones that are your skeleton are all alive, and they grow and change all the time, like other parts of your body. So what are bones for? Well, bones actually have two main functions. First, they help to give your body an actual shape. Without your bones, we would be like worms, slugs, or even jellyfish. Or like me. Might as well just call me Olaf. I don't have bones. But that's okay, Gus. You're just a sock puppet. We as humans, we would actually be invertebrates and not have a shape like a human being. And the other function of your bones is to give your body's most important organs a lot of protection. That's the second function of bones. Your bones make sure that organs like your heart, lungs, and even brain are kept safe as possible. Do you have a brain? Yes. Sure about that? <laughs> In the inside of your bones is something called bone marrow, and bone marrow is what produces red blood cells and platelets. I don't exactly know why they gave me this line, but every bone in your body, which I don't have bones, has a purpose. Bones in, well, people's legs and arms help them move by providing assistance to their muscles, which I also don't have! What are bones made out of? I can tell you one thing. They're not made of socks and fur balls <laughs> like me. That is true, Gus. Bones are actually made up of many types of minerals and proteins. These include phosphorus, sodium, and calcium. Your body has two types of bones. Now you're just bragging. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Dense hard bone is called cortical bone, and cortical bones are the structure bones. The second type are trabecular bones. They are soft and spongy. Still not my kind! Trabecular bones are found inside large bones and in your pelvis, ribs, and skull. These are less solid than cortical bone, but it's still pretty hard and also very protective. Bones are filled with spongy tissue called marrow. And this bone marrow is found within large bones like your hips, pelvis, and your femur. Stem cells are found within bone marrow. And stem cells are responsible for creating numerous important cells in your body, including your blood, brain, heart, and your bone cells. What happens if a bone breaks? Hmm, good question. I don't have to worry about that. Finally! 
<laughs> well, bones are actually remarkable because if you break a bone, it will work to actually repair itself and regrow. Sometimes it doesn't even grow back correctly. And if this happens, a doctor will put a splint or cast over the area and make sure that they grow back properly. How do broken bones heal? A broken bone actually heals in stages. When it first breaks, there will be blood around it. It will form a sort of scab over the broken parts of it. Then tougher tissue will begin to develop on top of the broken area. This is called collagen. And collagen, along with cartilage, will join the gap between the two sides of the break. This connection will continue to change and strengthen until the bone is actually healed. It can take months for bones to heal back to normal. And while the bone is healing, it can't take the pressure of a regular bone that's not broken. And this is why people will use crutches or slings when that bone is healing. Bones are designed to deal with daily wear and tear. For example, some bones absorb two to three times your body weight in force all the time. You take one to three million steps every year, so your bones are definitely made to take the repeated use and wear and tear, like Cadence just said. Bones will lose strength over time. Keeping your bones strong requires eating calcium-rich foods like dairy products, broccoli, and some fish. I like fish! <laughs> And also exercise, especially weighted exercise, because that helps keep bones strong. Some of the most popular bones are... Your spine. It lets you twist and bend. Your ribs. It protects your heart, lungs, and liver. Ribs are like a cage of bones around your chest. Your skull. Protects your brain. Your skull is made up of various bones. Some of these bones protect your brain, and others make up the structure of your face. My skull is a fairy ball. Mm. And hey, guess what? You can't see this bone, but the smallest bone in your body is in your head, too. Your stapes is a bone in your inner ear. It's one of the smallest of all of your bones. I don't have ears either. I really don't belong in this video. What did you guys make me do this for? Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Gus. We still love you. Together with the anvil and hammer bones, the stapes helps change the sounds you hear into waves that your brain can understand and comprehend. Your femur. It runs from your hip to your knee. It is the longest and largest bone in your body. It's also the strongest. Your hands and feet. When you sit and type at a keyboard or play video games, or when you swing on a swing, even when you pick up something off the floor, you are using bones in your fingers, hand, wrist, and your arm, all at the same time. In fact, you have 206 bones in total and 106 of them are your hands and your feet. Whoa. That means that more than half your bones are just in your hands and feet. And our bones meet up and connect at special places called joints. And your knees and elbows are joints, for example. Joints have cartilage too. Cartilage, along with fluid, enables bones to rub against each other smoothly and not wear out. And for our final fact, the largest joint in your body is your knee. Hey, guess what? Now you know all about bones. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Bye! Bye.